Hi everyone, this is Seema from The Makeup Mob. Thanks for joining our channel today. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 favorite fall lip colors this year. So what you're going to see is three different categories. We have the nudes, the reds, and any other color that doesn't fit in those two categories, pretty much. So the first category I'm going to talk to you about are the nudes. What we have here is Almost Nude. This is by Revlon, and I swatched it already, and it's a um, more of a brownish, peachish kind of nude shade. And the reason why I think it's important to have nude shades or nude colors for the fall is because sometimes we like to go really heavy on the eyes, and it's important for me to kind of minimize the lip area so that the eye area can stand out more. So that's why I like to pair a nude skin tone um, lipstick with you know, more dark browns or black, um, anything like maybe a blue. Well, that's the reason why I think it's important to have a nude brownish color. Now we have like a more of a nude plum. This is by NYX and it is called Perfect. So I'll have the names and shades below. And it's a nude purple. So it's really not too dark. I think it would show up maybe a little more bright on darker skin tones. On my skin tone, it's actually what I'm wearing right now. And I've matched this with another color and I'll have that below. But as you can see, it's not very purple and it's not dark. What I would consider this fairly nude. Next is a pinkish shade nude. This is Max Blankety and of course my all-time favorite shade of all time ever, no matter what season. And I would pair this also with purples and you can see it's pretty nude it's a pink shade and like I said if you have very strong eye makeup then I would recommend doing this unless using any of these three unless you're going for more of a vampy look and you know it's good for the daytime if some people are kind of afraid of you know using too strong of a color the next important category are our reds now red of course is a year-round color but you'll you'll definitely see a little more red in the fall, in my opinion, or at least that's what I like to wear in the fall. So I'm going to start off by Revlon's Matte Shade, and this is in Really Red. And this is a very dupable shade, right? It's a little bit dark, a little bit lighter than some of the reds I'm going to show you, but it is definitely a true red, and I think very much applicable to any skin tone. So it's a like literally a pure red. So as you can see, this is a very basic red. It's not too dark, it's not warm, it's not cool. It's kind of like in the middle. It's a little warm, but um, it's nothing like some of the other more fall colors that you'll see, uh, such as Lady Danger by MAC, which is a really, really intense uh, red orangey shade. Now this next shade is by Victoria's Secret. It's called Stiletto, and it is a champagne red color, as you can see here. And it's definitely dupable, so a lot of other companies will have the shade. Of course, I'd like to show you is these are the, the shades that I rotate the most within my collection. But of course, there are many, many other uh, great fall colors out there that you can probably find within your own range of lipsticks. So, great champagne red. Next is Ruby Woo. This is, again, a, you know, a cult classic, and it is a matte shade. So it's very drying and it's very, of course, important to moisturize your lips before, but it is, again, a true red. So you'll see it's actually a little bit warmer, in my opinion, than the, um, than the Revlon one, the matte one, but both of them are very red. And if you're looking for a dupe to Ruby Woo, then this would be a great pick because it's very similar. Now, in the event where, you know, your lips start cracking and your lips are still moisturized or you'll kind of see that the lip color is kind of fading away, um, what I suggest applying before is this product by NYX and it's a lip cream and you can get this It's basically like a lip stain and I like to put this at the base of my lipstick to really ensure that the lip color stays even longer so you'll see it matches very well and um, it really does extend the wear of your lipstick next is Max Lady Danger. Now I mentioned this before and while I do prefer using this in the summer I still very much use this in the fall but it's a very warm bright red so it's more of like an it's a mix between orange and red here it is right here and 
definitely for the daring in my opinion like if you're not comfortable wearing you know a basic red then you may not be comfortable wearing lady danger but if you are comfortable with bright lips then definitely check out lady danger next is max russian red which is a, uh, a matte shade now i actually don't think it's as drying as, as ruby woo but i don't know they're both matte consistency and it is much darker well, not much darker, but it is definitely darker than Ruby Woo. So it's more, I think it's a little more mature if you want. Like I I don't like to wear, to go out. Like I find it's more of an office look to be honest, but I definitely do like wearing it to work. The last two shades are more, you know, out there looks. And I would actually, I would have preferred putting Lainey Danger in this category as well. Um, the first one is Max Rebel. And it's actually quite similar to Victoria's Secret Stiletto. So here's MAC Rebel and here's the Victoria's Secret one and they're almost identical. Um, just the consistency is a little different. The Victoria's Secret one is a little more creamy and that's really all the, the entire difference. Like you can literally see they're almost the exact same shade. This, you, you know, you have to make sure that with such bright colors, you make sure to use a lip liner. So with nudes, it's not as important, but definitely with bright shades or dark shades you want to make sure that your lips are more defined and the last color is MAC Morange and it's a great orange shade now again great for the summer and still very workable for the fall um, definitely I know orange was really really huge last year and now you see more of a mustard shade um, you know around trends but I think orange is still a very popular color year round and even so in the fall it would be a great pick so those are my top 10 picks guys for the fall and hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you later. Bye!